Hi guys, um, so my name is Alan, so uh, I'll be doing a Facebook, uh, I'll be doing the live stream with you guys today. So, um, well, so from, well, for those one who didn't know that uh, we, we've we been doing Facebook live stream for, for the past two months or so, but, um, but then we realized that um, it's a bit troublesome for viewers to go to Facebook to, to watch our video. Because um, they need a user ID to to watch our our video on on Facebook. So uh, for this, um, YouTube is much easier to access because um, everyone can just watch watch videos on there without accounts. So uh, yep. So from today, we will be doing um, live stream on on um, YouTube instead of Facebook. So yep. Just keep that in mind, and uh, I will post a link on Facebook if you have a Facebook account. I will I will post a link there every day, so um, you can just click into that link and head to our YouTube page to to watch our live trading. So yep, just keep that in mind, and um, and yep, hope you will enjoy our live trading. So um, for today, we don't have any um economic ec indicator to talk about like um it's not much like it's not that important for today the economic ind indicators but um i want to talk about the um recent news which is the um 2017 france presidential election so um before the result comes out the market was in a uh, risk off environment because there was a rumor that the um the the EU, EU will face a breakdown again because the um because France might leave the the EU EU followed by England. So um well talking about the uh, risk on and risk o risk off. So um the risk on and risk off is an investment setting in which the um price behavior respond to and is driven by the change in in investors um risk risk toler tolerance. So uh, risk on, risk off is served to refer to the change in investment activity in response to global economic patterns. So um, yep. So during the period when um, the risk is perceived as low, the um, the risk on, risk off theory states that investors tend to engage engage in higher risk investments. So when risk is perceived as high investors have the um, tendency to gravitate towards lower risk investments so um, that's why for these risk franc and um, Japanese and are considered as a safe asset in the um, risk of environment and um, investor will be focused on purchasing this kind of currency during this time but um, the market now has shifted to the um, risk on environment after the um, president elect Macron has won the um, president presidential election. So um, in this case now Japanese N and Swiss franc will become easy to sell. So which might lead to a price drop down on the Japanese N. So yep, just keep that in mind while you trade. So. Um, so yeah, this kind of information you can you can um, you can get it like every day when you watch news. So if you and if you want to know more about the uh, risk on and risk off setting, so um, please feel free to to just search that in Google. I'm sure I'm sure there will be a bunch of explanation comes out. So um, if you have time, please please give it a try and um, study a bit on that. I'm sure it will help you to to trade on um, binary option. So yep, that was the talking. Oh, that's quick because um, uh, I want to do more trading today um, to show you guys the 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 technique. So yep, let's do it. So here we got the signal on the on the right. For those one who doesn't know, this is what we call the signal tool. So what what it does is to it gives you signals that which is strong sell and strong buy, and strong sell means um means low, and strong buy means high. So that's the only 
Well, that's the only timing we will make our purchase when it says strong sell or strong buy. There are times that it will say um, buy, sell and neutral and those are the times that we don't make our purchase. So yep, for now I will use this signal to together with the um, moving average in in the um, MetaTrader 4. So yep, let's do it. Now first thing we need to do here is to look for the right currency pair to trade with. So by what I mean the right currency pair to trade with is that um, I'm looking for a currency pair that like um, in one minute chart the moving average face up and then in 5 minute and 15 minutes chart the moving average face up as well. So in three different charts the moving average face the same direction. That's what I'm looking for as like I'm looking for the perfect currency perfect currency pair to trade. So now in here is the um, Japanese N and US dollar. So um so on on the one minute chart here is is actually let's see. It's a bit flat here. So let's see it in five minutes chart here. Yep it's going down. So um these two are the two different directions. So um I don't make purchase here. See, one minute is flat, it's slightly going up, but um, five minutes going down, fifteen minutes is going down as well. So, well, if we wait for a bit here, it might come back down on the one minute chart. But um, but for this very moment, I'm not going to trade with um, Japanese yen and US dollar. So let's go back and uh, have a look at the other currency pairs. So um, here is the USD and US. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry. I mean the Aussie and US dollar. So let's zoom in a bit. One is a bit flat here, but uh, well, we still will have a look at the moving average first. So um, in here, one minute chart is slightly going down. Five minutes chart is all the way up. So um. They say no for uh, instantly. So um, yep, they say no. Let's move on. So different direction down, up. So it's a no. So let's have a look at the currency pairs again. So we have a look at the uh, British pound and US dollar here. Let's zoom in. On the one minute chart, it's going down. Five minutes chart going down as well. Fifteen minutes chart is going up. So uh, I don't think it's a good choice as well. So let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep looking for the for the for the right one to trade with. I think that's the most important, which is to to look for the right currency pair to trade. So um. We now having a look on the euro and US dollar. So one minute chart, slightly going down. Yep, going down. Five minutes, going down as well. Fifteen minutes, going down. Yep. So um, we have a look on the um, we have a look on the signal. We were. Looking at what? Euro, was it Euro? Yeah, Euro, but it says neutral here. So um, these two result doesn't match. So what I was looking for is that if Euro says strong sell as well, then I will make my purchase. But now it says um, neutral, so um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this trade at the moment. So uh, I will keep looking for other currency pairs. Let's see. So, uh, what I was looking was the um, US dollar and Japanese yen here. I'm just hoping it it will come down soon, but it seems like it's, it's forming an uptrend here. But uh, anyway, we will wait for a bit until it it, it goes down. So, uh, five minutes going down. 15 minutes going down, 
I'm just waiting for this one minute because it's flat now, so uh, it might have possibility that it will come it will come down soon. So just waiting on this one. So now let's have a look. It says strong buy here though. But yep, yep, it's tilting down now. Uh what I wanna see is a bigger movement instead of this it's quite flat here, so um I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk my um I'm not gonna risk to trade on it. So yep, let's wait for a bit more and then I'm waiting for here to say strong uh to say strong sell as well. So for now let's have a look. Um British pound and US dollar. So um that's instantly a no because it's going up here at a 15 minutes chart but then on the on the signal it tells me it's a strong sell so um, what I'm looking at is everything on the MetaTrader 4 the moving average goes all the way down and then um, and then the um, the signal says strong sell a uh, strong sell as well that's what I'm that's what I was looking for so it doesn't match so we'll move on Yep. So uh, Japanese Sen is still looking flat. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trade yet. Euro, US dollar. Is it still neutral on here? Yeah, it's still neutral. So uh, well, sometimes I I just wanna refresh it in case it doesn't up to date the information. So yep, it still says neutral. So um. I'm not gonna do this one. Yep, it says that it says sell now uh, on the Japanese, US and Japanese N. So let's wait for a bit more and then um, wait for the strong sell to come here. And the uh, euro and US dollar just now I was looking at the signal is a strong strong sell as well. So um. I'm guessing for now the euro and US dollar is the best option. So um but it goes it goes really low now. Uh it might come up really quick. S uh let's see, let's see. Let's go to Euro US dollar and pick on the three minutes chart. Let's wait for a bit, so um We will wait for a bit. Uh, I think it will come down. It will come up a bit, a bit, uh, before it goes down again. Let's see. Well, it's still going all the way down. I'm not gonna make this trade here. Oh, I will <laughs> get ready in case I wanna I wanna trade. Oh, Japanese. Um, let's see, let's see. I guess I might, I might, I might make this one. I'm a trade. I'm a trade with um. Euro and USD for this time. Let's wait for the last moment, and um, and we will see. Let's refresh. Yep, it's coming up now. The um the price, but um, I'm guessing it will go down still. So um, yep, I will try to purchase here. Wait for a bit more. Wait for a bit more until it goes to this area, which um, is going up. Yep. I just made my purchase, so it's like a really last moment. So, 
if I purchase here then it will go up so um, it's better to wait at the until the last moment before you make, make your purchase but now this trade is really close um, it's hard to say if I'm gonna get it or not so um, we'll wait and see well, it seems like it's going up but um, is to do say strong sell here so there is still a chance that it will come down we'll see it's the last 10 seconds really nervous well uh, I don't think I'm gonna make this one but well I'm gonna get it back yep so um, gonna get it back it doesn't matter I'm gonna get it back Yep. So now it comes down again after this two bull candlestick. So um, that was not my day. So um, now I'm looking at the Japanese N and US dollar. Oh, this looking all right. And let's zoom out a bit. It's looking all right. What it says on here. It says John Sal, so um, wait. Um, I'm still thinking if I should trade with um, Japanese and um, Euro and US dollar again. Let's see. Wait. Let's see this one first. Nah, I think it's uptrend here, so um, I'm not gonna do this one. Yeah, it it goes up. So yeah, that was a like, good. So good choice. I didn't. I didn't trade it. I didn't trade in. So, yep. I'm gonna. St I'm gonna stay with um euro and US dollar. Let's go back to our euro and US dollar chart. Well, it doesn't look really convinced so um well yep I would do it I would do it let's have a last look yep yep the bearish candlestick comes out I think I will make this one yep so uh, we'll wait there's one minute waiting time. Uh, this 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 area is one minute, and then um, this color color area is um, two minutes. So that makes up three minutes trading period. So um, if it if this yellow dot comes into this um, this this um, after this stop line, then uh, we can't do anything. Like we can't cancel the trade. So yep, we now just have to wait. Oh no, it goes up again. Um, it, yep, it's coming down. Whoa, it's really um, it, re it wasn't really a good time to trade. It moved really, the movement is really big. Oh no, yep. No, um, that was gone again. So um, I have to be careful again. Well, that was really close, really, really close trade. Yep, I will be careful again. Yep. Well, it looks like down trend here, but um, but I don't know. Um, the market today doesn't really convince me. I'll be careful. So, um, well, let's see. One minute going down. Five minutes going down. Fifty minutes going down. It's actually looking good. Um, the um US and jo US dollar and Japanese and now I lost confidence on this um euro and US dollar. So um. I might change my currency pairs. Let's have a look. Let's 
can oh it just passed it just expired the trade uh the purchase period just expired so uh we just wait need to wait for the next trade It's not really my day, but uh, well, that happens. But um, sometimes I win and sometimes I lose. But um, if I have enough time, then I um, the winning percentage is higher. I was, yep. <laughs> oh, there's a blue candlestick coming out here. Yeah, the price doesn't really... Oh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna change this to 30 minutes chart. And then I add another Japanese N and US dollar. Yep. So, um, it's actually a downtrend here. And the price is almost reached to the top, which I think it will come down soon again. So, uh, yep. I've, I will do this one again. Wait for the last moment. Yep. So you see the trend line here. Yep. This. Yep. Once it reaches this point, it start to come down. So uh, we we'll wait for a bit until the last moment before we uh, before I make my purchase. So um. Yep. It's still going up. It's still going up. Yep. Thing is about to come down now. If it goes up more, then um, I have to think again if I should uh, if I should purchase this currency pair. Still going up. Still going up. Yep. Now um. Yep. 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 Let's see. I hope it doesn't it doesn't go up again. Yep, it's coming down now. It's coming down. So um, hoping it's a downtrend here, but um, I'm not sure. Still going up. Let's see. Nah, uh, I'm not gonna do this one. It it has um go past the um it went past the trade the trend line so um the trend might change so uh yeah we will have a look at other currency pairs. So if I purchase around here just now I I might lost my trade so yep that was a good move. So let's see. Euro No oh no, it's actually uptrend here slightly slightly uptrend here but um well. we say so what is a strong sell here. Again let's back to the Made the trade of four. Well, if I end up losing today, then I will try to get it back tomorrow. So um, we always can get it back. Yep. So now the Japanese N and US dollar is actually flat here. So um, I'm not gonna trade with that. Yep, it's quite flat. So um, I'm not gonna do that. Euro is um, the price doesn't move much here, so um, not gonna do that as well. And then now I'm looking at the British pound and US dollar. So um, let's have a look. Fifteen minutes going up. Yep. No, they say no. So once I change to five minutes, it's going down. So uh, I'm not gonna do that. So yep, it's really flat. The Japanese and US dollar here. I'm not gonna do it. I have to come down, so, um. Yep, let's see. Yep. 
is doesn't look good. It says neutral now. So, but the euro and US dollar here, I can't see the clear trend here. So I'm not gonna trade with it too. And then um, the Aussie and US dollar. That's our last hope. Let's check out our last hope. Oh, it was the Aussie and US dollar? Yep. It's going up. One uh, five minutes is going up. One minute is going down, so um, no, I'm not gonna do it. So uh, let's let's close this one. So um, at this moment, we don't really have any currency pair to trade with. So uh, what we can do is just to wait. And um, I'm thinking I might not be able to win today, but um. I'm not gonna give up and I'm gonna show you guys how to win tomorrow. I'm gonna win tomorrow. So uh British pound and US dollars because uh, I was looking at the signal it says um it says strong sell here. Ah uh, yeah they say no because it goes up. So yep. Anyway, um I will stop trading here because our time is almost up. But um well, today it seems like it's not my day, but um, well, it happens. But for tomorrow, I try to get it back. Yep. So tomorrow is still my, it's still my, um, it's still me to do live trading. So let's see if I can make it back tomorrow. <laughs> so yep. So anyway, we still running this um ten dollar welcome bonus. So um. If you want to use this $10 to to practice on your binary option skills, methods, and then um, if you do well with this $10, you, 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 you might win quite a bit of money. So um, don't miss the chance. And um, it's really, really easy to, to, to open the account with us. It doesn't really take you a long time. So um, just open the account with us now and get this $10. So yep, I've I think that's it for today and uh, thank you for watching and um, I'm still not too used to this um, YouTube live stream platform so um, yep so, so I'm a bit nervous today as well so because the test is the new new platform so yep I hope I can do better tomorrow so yep I see you guys tomorrow again yep see ya bye